Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about refining the lighting, the look of things in your videos to look more like you're in a studio. And a lot of times people get their light board set up and they set up their lights and get OBS working, but it still doesn't look kind of like you're in a studio. And um, I'm not actually in my regular home studio right now. I'm sort of in a makeshift studio, but I can still illustrate how I make improvements to the look of the lighting to make it look more like I'm in a studio. And I do that through filters. So in OBS, the first thing to do is to just make sure you've selected your uh, video capture device. And you can do that either by clicking in the sources or just clicking sort of in the active OBS screen. And you'll see that red box appear around your video camera view and then click filters. And under filters, you'll see, I'm just have to, I just have to resize this box. It's a little bit annoying, but that's just the resolution of the screen I'm using. Um, uh, there's video, audio video filters on the top. I don't have any audio capture device added to my OBS because when I teach in Zoom, I let Zoom handle the audio. So, so I don't have an audio um, device added. So we'll just, we'll just leave this blank. What I want to draw your attention to is the effect filters. These relate to the video effects. And the first filter I use is a color correction. So uh, you can add a color correction filter by hitting the plus sign at the bottom then clicking on color correction. I've already added it. Uh, so if I just click on it, you'll see what my color correction settings are. For the most part, I'd recommend using the defaults except for brightness. So uh, if I slide this brightness adjustment sort of back to its default, it maybe looks a bit more like how your light board looks sort of when you first got it set up and you kind of think, oh, I can still kind of a little bit see, you know, see my sheet in behind me. It doesn't look, it has that, doesn't have that black, dark black look to it. So, um, and that might be bothering you. Here's the place to fix it. Go into these settings slide that brightness bar down just until your background turns black. And uh, it's really just as simple as that. You can play around with some of the other settings, the gamma, the contrast, the saturation, if you want to. Um, you know, you can make yourself look like you have more of a suntan maybe than you really do if, you, if, if you're good at monkeying with this. Uh, I've made some very minor adjustments to these values you can see there, but really the major one is just using that brightness. Um, that's my trick to making my, my background look black. The great thing about adding a color correction filter in OBS is that this setting is definitely saved. So you don't have to worry about adjusting this every time. I would like to point out though, that these settings are saved for the video capture device for this scene. And if you get things looking really nice in one particular scene, Instead of changing those settings again for the next scene, I would encourage you to simply copy that scene uh, and it will copy over all of the video capture device filters and settings. So you don't have to do uh, adjust these settings again. The other thing that you might notice is I've also added a sharpen filter. And I've found that just adding a little bit of sharpness helps uh, the look and feel of the light board uh, in terms of like, maybe creating a bit of an illusion that it's a, uh, a higher resolution camera than it actually is. Remember, we're using a $100 webcam, but I've, I've added a 0.19 to the sharpness of my, my uh, video. And, and I think that kind of gives things uh, a nice look. So, um, uh, so those are my two sort of tricks for making my Lightboard videos look more like I'm in an actual studio. Color correction filter, reduce the brightness, sharpen filter, uh, increase the sharpness up to about you know, 0 0.19, 0 0.2, something like that. I find that works. Now, the other thing that you have to adjust is your lighting. And just as a, a final sort of reminder, um, I recommend having sort of one of your lights a little bit high on one side. I usually teach content off to my right. So this is my right in, in real life. I know that you're seeing a mirror image of me, but this is my right. So as I'm sitting in the chair to my left, I put my light 
uh, a little higher on the left hand side that sort of illuminates more of the top of my head and fills out the lighting the light that's on the right hand side is about level with with my my face so um high on one side level with your face on the other side i think that creates uh, a nice lighting environment <laughs>